Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Rene PassNow software to make a bootable password recovery boot disk. And then also we're going to show you how to use it to change a Windows user's password or actually reset it. So let's say you have a computer and you forgot your account and it's the only account on there and you don't have any other way to get your password off. Or let's say you inherited a computer and there's a user on it, but you don't know the password and you can't get on there. So what you need to do is get your hands on a copy of this Rene PassNow. You're going to have to buy it. The free version only lets you demo it to see what passwords you could reset, but it won't actually let you do it. So once you open it, you have a choice for making a bootable USB or a live CD. So if your computer doesn't support bootable USB, then you want to do a CD. So we're going to do a CD anyways. So put your blank CD in there and then click on create. And then say, yes, I have a blank CD in there. And it's going to go through this wizard here. So we're going to pick, we want it on this DVD, DVD burner, not our flash drive. Next. And it's going to tell us what it's going to do. Next. And now it's going through the burning process. It's a pretty small CD, so it doesn't take that long to burn. Okay, so now that the burning is 100% done, we're going to click on Next. It ejected the CD for us. And then Finish. And then it gives you some instructions on how to do it, you know, basically just booting your computer from a CD drive. So you'll have to find out if you need a special key, usually it's F12 or F2 to get your computer to boot um, off of whatever selection you like, or you might have to go into the BIOS and change it there. So we have that done. So now we're going to go over to a Windows 10 VM, and we're going to mount the CD in the drive, and we're going to boot from it and show you how to actually do the recovery process. Okay, so we have this Windows 10 VM here, so I rebooted it and I pressed F12 to get to the startup device menu. So now we're going to want to boot from the CD-ROM. So we're going to press C here. And I could hear the CD-ROM going, so it's loading files here. So I don't think this is doing some kind of Windows installation. It's just that this pass now uses this Windows loader to get to its boot menu to do its thing. So you pick your language once you have it selected there. Now, this also has some other tools here. You want to do backups or scan your drive for problems or erase a drive or go into the Windows recovery to fix boot problems, but we're not concerned about that because we're just going to reset a password here. So we're going to click on Run. And then you pick the installation of Windows, since we only have the one here, so we're going to select that. So we have these users that have found the admin, administrator, Bobby, Cindy, and the default account. And this also shows you which are enabled and which are disabled. So if you want to enable the built-in administrator, you could do it from here, just by clicking on that and enable. So we're going to say Bobby forgot his password, so we're going to click on Bobby. And we're going to clear the password. We can also disable it from here. And then yes. And then reset the password for Bobby. Now it doesn't have a password. And we're going to click OK. Now wrote to the file. And so we're done. So we're going to click Exit and then Reboot. And it's going to go back into Windows 10 normally. Okay, so now we're going to pick Bobby here, and there's no password, so Bobby logged right in without a password. And then once we're in there, we could just go in and to the user accounts and assign Bobby a new password, and you should be good to go. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, so once you buy the software, you could either make the USB or CD, then just boot to it, follow the prompts, and you should be good to go. And that's it. Thanks for watching.